let's have a look on the dnl application fork where the duration of the replication fork is towards this way okay so um before the replication of the dna we need to use the dna template which come from the parent dna and the dna polymerase enzyme which synthesize that new dna that read the dna from the 3 prime to 5 prime direction on the other side the daughter strand which comes from the template dna which is the complementary dna and during the synthesize the dna polymerase enzyme read the daughter strand from 5 prime to 3 prime direction so um, there are three dna polymerase enzyme for the prokaryotes these are dna polymerase enzyme one two and three and for eukaryotes there are five dna polymerase enzyme which are dna polymerase alpha beta gamma delta and epsilon and this is the origin of the replication where we can see the synthesis of rna primer so for the dna replication we need the rna primer and for rna synthesis we don't need any rna primer then next comes to the leading strand which is going towards the replication fork and the lagging strand which is coming away from the replication fork this is the dna polymerase enzyme which is synthesizing the nucleotide like adding the nucleotide at the daughter strand and we have some other enzymes let's go to the okazaki fragment so in okazaki fragment we can see this is the primase which is synthesizing the new rna primer and there is dna polymerase which is synthesizing the nucleotide adding the nucleotide to the lagging strand and the lagging strand there are multiple fragments and they are separated from each other so the fragments are called okazaki fragment so we can say the leading strand is the continuous strand and lagging strand is the discontinuous strand and then we can see the enzyme dna ligase which is resealing the gap between the okazaki fragment after removal of the rna primer by the dna polymerase one dna polymerase one is removing the rna primer first and then adding the new nucleotide and then the gaps between the nucleotide is resealed by the dna ligase enzyme now let's come to the single stranded binding protein what it is doing it's helping to re prevent the re annealing of the double stranded dna for replication and the enzyme helicase is doing the unwinding of the double stranded dna from each other and next is the enzyme tropoisomerase which is removing the super coil so the replication gets easier for the dna and in this small box you can see there are multiple origin of replication one and two and we know that eukaryotes have multiple origin of replication as eukaryotes have linear dna and prokaryotes have only single origin of replication because prokaryotes have only uh, prokaryotes have circular dna so we can see this is the lagging strand which is separated okazaki fragments and this is the leading strand leading strand is leading strand is continuous and lagging strand